Hi, my name is Crystal Nettles, Senior Communications Specialist for the Orange County Water District. Today, I'm going to guide you on a tour of our groundwater replenishment system, the world's largest potable reuse facility. OCWD manages a very large groundwater basin in north and central Orange County. We are very lucky to have this basin because it provides approximately 85% of the water to 2.5 million people in our service area. 19 local water suppliers pump water from the basin and supply it directly to their customers, providing a safe, reliable, and low-cost water supply. Our mission at OCWD is to protect this basin so that it can continue to be the main source of water for these agencies, both now and for future generations. To do this, we must protect the quality of the water in the basin and make sure that we have adequate supplies to refill it so that there is always enough to pump out. We've constructed a very sophisticated recharge system to refill the basin. We own more than 1,100 acres of land in Anaheim and Orange, consisting of two dozen recharge basins, or artificial lakes, that can collectively hold about 9 million gallons of water, which naturally percolates into the ground. There are several sources of water we use to refill the basin. Santa Ana River flows, natural rainfall, storm water, untreated imported water from Northern California and the Colorado River, and recycled water. Today, we're going to focus on the recycled water from the groundwater replenishment system, what we refer to as the GWRS. It's one of the largest sources for refilling our basin, making up about 35% of the water that we put back into the basin every year. The GWRS is a unique and outstanding example of partnership between two public agencies, the Orange County Water District and the Orange County Sanitation District. Every day, the Sanitation District treats about 185 million gallons of wastewater that comes from homes and businesses in North and Central Orange County. They treat the water to what is called secondary treatment standards, providing biological treatment and removal of solids. In the past, that treated wastewater was sent out to the ocean five miles offshore. But thanks to this joint project, OCWD takes all of the Sanitation District's reclaimable flow and purifies it to near distilled quality using an advanced purification process consisting of microfiltration, reverse osmosis, and ultraviolet light with hydrogen peroxide. Each day, the GWRS produces up to 130 million gallons of water that goes into our groundwater basin that would otherwise have been discharged into the ocean. Essentially, we have created a new source of water by recycling wastewater. What do we do with the 130 million gallons per day? Approximately 90 million gallons of GWRS water is pumped through a 13-mile pipeline to our recharge facilities in Anaheim. The remaining water is injected into a seawater barrier about four miles inland from the coast to help prevent seawater intrusion, as well as our mid-basin injection wells in Santa Ana. The GWRS has been in operation since 2008 and originally produced 70 million gallons of purified water per day. We then expanded the facility in 2015 to bring us to 100 million gallons per day. In 2023, we completed our final expansion, which brought total daily production to 130 million gallons. This provides enough water for 1 million people. So now that you have some background, let's head into the facility and take a closer look at the three different treatment processes. The first step of the process is microfiltration, or MF, which removes any bacteria, protozoa, and suspended solids in the water. At the upper level of this MF facility, we are looking down into cells that hold the secondary effluent that is piped over from OC sand. From this view, we're looking at the water being filtered. Each of these large, deep cells holds 19 membrane racks and 684 membrane modules. Inside the membrane modules are the actual hollow fiber membranes, which have microscopic holes in the side of them. Under suction, water is pulled through the outside of the fiber, screening the contaminants out. To keep the contaminants from building up on the outside of the membrane, each cell goes through a backwash every 22 minutes, which essentially shakes the contaminants loose. These contaminants are sent back to OC San. To protect the fibers from biological fouling, each cell goes through a chemical cleaning every 21 days. Let's go down to the basement to see the piping. Now we are several stories below ground. This was done intentionally so that the water coming from OC San flows by gravity, saving an enormous amount of energy. All this piping and equipment is bringing water into individual cells and then pumping it on to the next step in the process. 
Each cell has identical pipes and pumps, which provides redundancy and allows us to keep our system operational at a very high efficiency. Before we head over to the reverse osmosis facility, let's take a look inside the control room. The GWRS facility utilizes advanced technologies and requires a high degree of automation to operate efficiently. Inside the control room, operators constantly monitor the operation of the plant on large screens that show each step in the process. The plant is being run 24 hours a day, seven days a week by a customized software system that controls thousands of valves, pumps, and monitoring devices. It also lets our operators know when something is wrong, allowing them to immediately respond to the problem. Now we're at the reverse osmosis building, which is commonly known as RO. RO is the heart of the treatment process and removes dissolved minerals, viruses, organics, and pharmaceuticals from the water. The RO membrane is a sheet of semi-permeable polyamide material that's rolled into tight bundles and encased in fiberglass housing elements. These RO elements are then inserted into long fiberglass pressure vessels and microfiltered water is pumped through them under high pressure. Under this high pressure, the water molecules are forced through the RO membrane while larger compounds stay on the outside. These larger compounds, called brine, are sent back to OC sand and then out to the ocean. 85% of the water that goes through RO is purified and ready for the next step. And now, we move on to the final stage of the purification process, ultraviolet light with hydrogen peroxide. To disinfect the water and destroy any low molecular weight organic compounds, the water is exposed to high-intensity ultraviolet light with hydrogen peroxide. This process ensures that unwanted biological material and organic chemical compounds are effectively destroyed or removed. There are 16 trains consisting of three vessels in a series stacked on top of each other. The water moves through each train from the bottom UV vessel to the middle, then to the top in a matter of seconds. In each vessel, there are 144 lamps encased in a quartz sleeve, so the water never touches the actual lamp. At the end of this process, we have what is called GWRS product water, which is near distilled water quality. One of the most important things to convey is that this water is of the highest quality. In fact, the water is so pure, we remove excess carbon dioxide and add lime to stabilize it so it moves smoothly through the recharge and barrier pipelines. GWRS product water is tested on-site at our world-class laboratory, the Philip L. Anthony Water Quality Laboratory. We test for over 400 contaminants and report more than 400,000 results every year. We must meet strict water quality standards to be compliant with our permits. And we've been compliance throughout our operation. To end this tour, let's head over to the sinks where we can take a look at the samples of the water that have gone through the various processes and taste the water. We've set up these three sinks so that we can give our guests a visual idea of what the water looks like during the treatment process. The middle sink shows water that's been treated by microfiltration as it enters the RO process. The sink on the right is what is squeezed out of the microfiltered water by the RO process and is sent back to OC sand. And the sink on the left is the pure water that's gone through the MF, RO, and UV treatment steps. Now there's only one thing left to do. Let's take a drink. Wow, that's really good. It tastes like water because it is water. Thank you for taking the time to join us on a tour of this amazing water treatment facility. We are so happy to have the opportunity to share it with you.